This is how Jenny McGlincy spends a portion of her days, inhaling medicine through a nebulizer while a vibrating vest shakes loose thick mucus from her airways. It's a common treatment for cystic fibrosis patients. I don't know anything different. I was taught that it's just another thing that I have to do every day. I have to take pills with my food. I have to inhale medicine. But McGlincy's life may be about to change. The disease she was born with that 80,000 other people in the world share. We have lung infections. It can affect our pancreas. It can affect everything in the body. Could be tamed by a new triple drug combination called Trikafta, which for the first time attacks the genetic mutation that causes cystic fibrosis. It was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in October. It's really a transformative therapy that's going to change what it means to have CF going forward from the day of the approval from now on. Clinical trials of Trikafta were held here at Denver's National Jewish Health as well as other hospitals. The doctor who helped lead this study says improvements in lung function came almost immediately. Within a few days, people felt so much better. They had better energy, they were coughing less, they were able to clear the mucus in their lungs out much better than they ever had been before. It's turned my life around significantly. Hannah Weiberg has been on the new drug therapy for more than a month now. She used to rely on oxygen 60% of the time to combat shortness of breath, but no longer. That's a huge difference, just ease of life. Like I said, grocery shopping is now not a chore. <laughs> I feel like I can participate in life again. Trikafta is quite expensive, but at least some insurance companies are expected to cover it. Patients younger than 12 years of age are not currently eligible for it, but that may change. 90% of patients are projected to benefit from Trikafta, which could turn cystic fibrosis into a chronic, manageable condition. So it's definitely not a cure, but we do believe that it's going to completely slow down the progression of CF. That's music to McGlincy's ears. She looks forward to fewer hospitalizations, better lung capacity, even a bit of weight gain. Most importantly, life expectancy for patients only in the 40s until now should increase with this new discovery. That means more years with my husband and with my daughter and my friends, and that's, that's unbelievable. Yeah. That's, what it's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. She'll be starting the new drug therapy soon. This is hope, isn't it? It's hope. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.